Dr. Watts, my partner is Lady Jen, and we're back on the series How to Write Lyrics Like a Pro in 10 Easy Steps, and we are on step number six. Uh, we would like to thank you for your likes and your shares and your comments. Just appreciate you guys, and hopefully that even these short videos will be uh, some information unto you that can take your music to the next level. Today, our question is, what quotables are you using in your music? What do you mean by quotables? Things that people already know or that have enough iambic, that have iambic pentameter that they cannot forget them and that they are catchy. Not only they can't, they don't want to forget them. Okay, now I'm gonna give you some examples of what I mean by uh, quotables. Okay, we're gonna take a look over here at uh, azlyrics.com. This is a free resource and I advise that you uh, you go over there and, and just start studying lyrics and see really what's happening. Turn the music off and read the lyrics. Because uh, if you were to read uh, Whitney Houston's uh, song, The Greatest Love of All, it is really uh, a call to self-love and to also a call to love children and to put them first. But also the song was just about self-love. But the greatest love of all, but a lot of people that just got hooked up in the song and hooked up in the fame and all of that kind of stuff. But I'm telling you, there's a lot more going on in that track than just talking about love. It's talking about self-love, the power of self-love and not giving up on yourself. By the way, you can click the link in the description and uh, visit the Patreon page so you can get all of the full length videos, including this entire 10 step series of how to write lyrics like a pro. And they'll be up, I'm, we're on number six now. Uh, if you sign up now, uh, you'll be able to uh, get them in. You'll get notifications when the, the other four are going to be put up. But they're just coming in time, kind of like how people write lyrics out of their life. You know, instead of trying to write them all in one day, kind of live the life and let the life bring the lyrics out of you when you're writing a song. It's very interesting when you write one verse one day and then write another verse another day because you could write something that you experienced that you didn't experience the last day. So take some time and put... Um, the, you know some time into your lyrics and don't worry about trying to get it all done really quick just you know you're going to become a speedier writer once you learn to use certain tools and this is one of the tools at az lyrics there is nothing that i do in anything i do not do anything without research i'm 100 researching i'm researching I'm researching, I'm researching, I'm listening, I'm listening because I'm paying attention to what people are acclimated to. And that's, I think, 99% of the problem of a lot of new artists. They're not paying attention to what people are acclimated to and they, are not, they don't understand how to put their expression inside of that. But that's what you will be able to learn. You come over and join the Patreon page. We have all kind of artist tips. Uh, you can ask questions and give, give me information right on the fly. You see, send me a DM. I'm very quick to answer the DMs. I don't care. Uh, I usually have my phone and my tablet with me. I just pop up to answer in there and through text. Um, I also have a premium chat service, and you could you could uh, hit up on the premium chat service. But I think you I'll put that one over on the um, the Patreon page. But if you like, I'll put the link down there. And if you just want, you just want you know pay pay for some consultation time, you can do that too. We can, I can consult with you about microphones, settings, proximity on your microphone settings, mixing, how to make your mix sound better, how to record your vocals better, uh, what software to use, what mics to use, what programs that that'll help you, even programs that'll work good on a slower computer. So some people don't have the most the fastest computers. So you know if you want to do that, then you could just hit me up on the premium chat, and I'll be able to answer your questions. Um, very quickly, we can do it live, and we can do it over phone, or we can just do it text. I'll put the link down there for my premium chat. So now we're getting to this. Uh, what quotables are you using in your music? What quotables? Okay, let me bring this up right here. All right, we over here at azlyrics.com, and this is Whitney Houston. Let me make this bigger so you can see it. Let me close this ad out right here. Pop. 
This is the greatest love of all. Now, I can't play the song, but I can I can just read it. Okay, now, this is what she said. I want you to listen. Without the music, this is without the music and without the emotion that the music brings and the chord progressions bring to you. I want you to just listen to these lyrics, okay? I, I, I'm, you can see them on the screen, and if you can, I'm just going to read them because I know some people are vision impaired. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well. Women, teach them well and let them lead the way. If you don't teach them well, they can't lead the way. They're going to lead you straight into dumbness. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Show your children how beautiful they are. Don't show them how bad they are. Show them how beautiful they are because they're learning. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Let the children's laughter remind us how it used to be. Don't forget, everybody's searching for a hero. People need someone to look up, up to. People need someone to look up to. I never found anyone who fulfilled my needs. Very important right there. I never found anyone to fulfill my needs. A lonely place to be. And so I learned to depend on me. I decided long ago never to walk in anyone's shadows. If I fail, if I succeed, at least I'll live as I believe. No matter what they take from me, they can't take away my dignity because the greatest love of all is happening inside of me. I really honestly believe that is something that we all need to be taught before we learn before we go into the adventure of going into relationships the love you need is has to come from you you have to give love not find love because when you're giving love and they're giving love it's just an amazing thing because when you have the love inside of you you're not dependent on someone to keep ratifying you day after day after day after day after day after day after day you understand because you love yourself and you love them. Plus, when you love yourself, there's certain things you want to do to people because you're in a certain spiritual state that just won't allow you to do that. Okay, now, let's go ahead and see the greatest love of all is easy to achieve, okay? I believe the children are our future. That was a very common old statement. When you write songs that have common threads in them that either people can pick up or that's already in folklore or idioms, it makes the song... Uh, be it, how can I put it like that? It soaks into the mind easier. They're easy, easier to index. Okay, let's go ahead and look at Swedish House Mafia. Don't you worry, child. One of my favorites. One. Now this was very descriptive. Now check this out. There was a time I used to look into my father's eyes. In a happy home, I was a king. I had a golden throne. Those days are gone. Now the memories are on the wall. Now. Check out how he used the word king and the word golden throne. Or whoever wrote this, she wrote, look at how they use it. I don't know who wrote this. Um, learning to use words that have common association. King, throne, crown, subjects, joker, jester. That's what it's all about, writing a song. So um, what quotables are you using? What words are you using? What idioms are you using? Uh, now the memories on the wall. I hear the songs from the places from the place where I was born. Up on a hill across a blue lake. That's where I find that's where I had my first heartbreak. Now, of course, they're touching with ev almost everybody that's ever been in love and had their first heartbreak. So the moment they said that, of course, that's already indexed in our mind. So of course we're gonna associate with that. Boom! Got clicked in on that one. I still remember how it all changed. My father said, Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. See heaven's got a plan for you. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. See, heaven's got a plan for you. Okay, that song, tap and use, heaven's got a plan for you. That is a common thing. God got a plan for y'all. Heaven's got a plan for you. Every, I'm going to tell you something about music. The music industry is never going to put out something that doesn't have an existing commonality already in a narrative in the minds of the most of the listeners or the listeners either that's in their culture or their community. And that's one of the key things about writing songs, writing lyrics, crafting lyrics. You're not just writing, you're crafting, okay? And also using common things that people have always done, okay? What did, let me get this out of the way, TLC, I ain't too proud to beg. Okay, I couldn't find this one on here, but uh, what was the other song? I ain't too proud to beg, sweet baby. Please don't leave me, don't you? Go. Okay, I ain't too proud to beg. You know why? They, you know why TLC used this back then in the beginning? Because number one, it, it set the sentiment of the culture. It, it represented the sentiment of the culture. Plus, it's something that people already have in their minds. Got to throw a little bit. All right. And that's what uh, that, that is one of the things that will help your songwriting get to the next level. Now, 
Here's another uh, a website, Id idiomsthefreedictionary.com. Idioms, words of folklore, words that have been told, something that we all have in common. Some of the biggest hits that are ever have been written, and they're going to be written, have been have they used idioms, phrases, acronyms. Okay, acronyms. What do you mean? I want to love you. PYT, pretty young thing. You need some loving. TLC, to the love and care. That's what sold the song to you, whether you know it or not. Oh, yeah, Mike is bad. But what, what gave you the comfort to index it is because of TLC and PYT. Because TLC take has is, is been used a lot. And it's a common thread in our narratives. Now you're really getting this. Now you're understanding why you need to get your behind over to the Patreon page so you can get taught how to write songs right and shock this world and give them you, but give them you descriptively. Descriptively, learn to give your music to your audience descriptively. I'm DJ Dr. Watch my partner, it's Lady Jean. We are ambassadors of good frequency. The record label is Son of Man Records. And this is how to write lyrics like a pro in 10 easy steps. Click the link, copy the link in the description. Come over, let's get started. Start watching these videos, start taking your music, and start running it through the sieve of these 10 steps. And watch what happens to your music. But you gotta get educated. I don't care how good you are in music. I've been in music since I was five years old. I am excellent in music. But you still got to be excellent in delivering people what they want to hear. Because as I say, there's only two types of music in this world. The type of music that people want to hear and the type of music that people don't want to hear. Y'all have a beautiful day. Peace.